you are holy indeed the fountain of all holiness let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ before he was given up to death the death he freely accepted he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread gave it to his disciples and said take this all of you and eat it this is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying you destroyed our death. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all who minister to your people. Remember our sisters and brothers who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Using other words, which Jesus himself taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and in your mercy grant us peace in our day. Keep us free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of that kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us give to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Bye.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in a prayer by Father J. Bourgeau of North Bay. He calls it quiet time. Lighting the candle this morning, I sit quietly before it. This is time set aside for God and me to be together. I wait in stillness. I listen. God listens. God is never too busy to listen. My heart is open. I come empty, I come in hope, I come in need to be made anew. Come, Lord, your presence is creative, life-giving. Cleanse and refresh me, encourage and strengthen me for the day ahead. Thank you for our time together. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist which nourished St. Catherine in this life bring us eternal life. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from Elliott Lake, Ontario whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. Please remember that all requests for special prayers are read by Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Donovan, Father Fitzpatrick, and Father Lynch. And your intentions are carried with them to the altar for the celebration of Holy Mass. So